So I guess we'll talk a little bit about quantities. There's not much to say other than this model has no quantities, and that's really unfortunate because... What do you mean? Can't do... Well, there's this no quantities here. You have quantities, you have properties which are pretending to be quantities over here. Okay. But, but ideally, you should have actual quantities over here. So for example, this, this bunch of slab over here should have a quantity set called QTO slab-based quantity. So I'll add that right now manually. And in there, it should have you know a, a length, width, depth. And I can go and calculate that right now for you. So here I am just kind of manually calculating it the values of those quantities, it should already be there. You yeah. shouldn't need to calculate it like that. Calculating quantities can be pretty expensive to do and sometimes complex to do. Like for example, the side area or the gross versus net can be complex to, to compute. Or the outer surface area, for example, of a column or beam that you might need to paint, which excludes the end, the surface area of the ends profile, that, that's Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to calculate that, or your tool might not be capable of calculating that. It should be just out of the box produced. So this model, unfortunately, just has no quantities. So if anybody wants to do quantity takeoff, firstly, they need to manually search and cross the fingers, hope somebody has given something like this. And maybe this is sufficient for what they need. Maybe it's not sufficient for what they need. Like, for example, here, does this have a surface area? I'm not sure what these are. It doesn't look as though it does. So it's actually missing a critical piece of quantity that you'll need for, for a column. Whereas the standard, if I add a, qual a column based quantities, knows that it needs things like this cross section area, this outer surface area, uh, and so on. Yeah, it's important to have these quantities. And it's important to make sure not take them at face value. If we did have them, it's also important to do a few spot checks at the very minimum to make sure that quantities add up to something sensible because there are certain bugs with famous software that may not produce the right quantities.